वन स्टॉक इन फोकस देन एंड ब्लू स्टार केम आउट विद इट्स नंबर्स एंड पोस्टेड लॉस इस टाइम अराउंड लेट्स गो अक्रॉस टू द मैनेजमेंट टू फाइंड आउट how the quarter has shaped up and uh, what's the outlook like going forward thanks a lot for joining and sir uh, let's start to first you know with your overall top line bottom line this time around and what are the projections that you would make going forward good morning devina good morning good morning good morning sir go ahead i was asking about the highlights of the quarter well uh, you know uh, it is the same as what it was the last quarter and the one before that and uh, i think we told you uh, uh, both the times that there's going to be a bad year there's going to be a few painful quarters and that's what's been happening so no surprises but of course not a good uh, good thing that we uh, got into uh, i think we need to keep this uh, get this year behind us uh, uh, the total for the year is about 89 negative uh, over a profit of the last year um, i think we explained uh, already what the reasons are mainly Uh, some overruns in our projects which were booked uh, earlier and we have made corrections and of course there was also the forex and uh, interest cost which went up but that was uh, not not as bad as the uh, uh, downturn we had on the contracting business so that's that's generally what happened and uh, going forward uh, in fact by the way last year uh, while that happened we grew well on the uh, product side especially the room acs Uh, more than 25 percent, more than the market. The market actually degrew. The refrigeration business grew well. Um, the service business grew well. So there were a lot of positives there. Uh, but but you know uh, overall, because the uh, contracting business is is that is segment one for us is large, uh, as as a percentage of what we do, it obviously affected us. We've been little uh, in the last quarter took a little more uh, more of a hit on the. Um, uh correction shall i say we've been a little conservative on uh, providing for some more debts so that it's uh, uh, you know taken care of we were not sure of some project which seemed look little uh, difficult to us but a lot of corrective actions a lot of changes since almost now 8 9 months the order book uh, which uh, we started uh, putting in from say july august onwards uh, has been good it's it's a healthy uh, business that we carried forward the the problem of course is that we do have Uh, some part of the old order still carry forward so we have going to have a mixed bag okay. but the war cry for this year is very clearly getting back into profits and and that's what's going to uh, hopefully happen right. i am I'm, i'm hoping there's going to be no disaster out there in the marketplace because sure. right now is not looking very exciting out there truly uh, no completely understand that so let's just put the year behind yeah. us fy12 and what we've done here uh, absolutely talking fy13 now you know margins which were looking a little bit sluggish up until now do you think things substantially will change on that front probably a better pick up in uh, the order book because we've seen that the order backlog has also dropped by about 2 or percent compression on the margin front the emp side uh, the emp segment uh, has been the major drag this time will things change out there on that front uh you know some of it is deliberate we decided to uh, uh, put some new rules on how orders will be booked uh the terms of payment the margins we we put on some new conditions uh, which was the part of the healthy correction that we did so we uh, chose to degrow on our contracting side by the way it's not it's not something that uh, of course that's uh, also on top of the the market hasn't been very exciting mm -hmm. but i'm saying in spite of that we decided that we will not uh, we'll be conservative it's not growth at any cost it'll be growth if it's profitable and with positive cash flow so this we are very clear about uh on the product side as i mentioned actually our growth has been uh, good last year uh, compared to what the the market conditions were uh answering for how things are going to pan out this year um on the contract side we have uh, we continue to uh, remain uh, shall i say uh, conservative on how we will book orders we rather give up jobs which are not looking profitable and uh, Uh, where the cash flow from the customer side is not looking healthy mm -hmm. and not get stuck in some of these projects which then last for very long and then then they sort of get our cash flow into trouble mm -hmm. uh, one of the things we did by the way last year is to get our borrowings down tremendously it was at a peak of 600 crore i did mention last time we are attempting to bring it down below 400 crore i must i'm happy to say mm -hmm. we got it below 350 crore actually and in fact i allowed in april a little bit of uh, 
corrections where we could uh, pay off some of the uh, uh, requirements for the right. summer season. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how it's panned out. Mm -hmm. um, and on, on the rest of the products, business refrigeration, room air conditioners, right. uh, there has been a bit of a slowdown uh, even from, from the outside world. Um, you know, uh, I think the um, uh, summer wasn't too good. The industry thinks there may be a degrowth. It looks like for the last 10, 15 days, summer has kicked in everywhere. Otherwise, there's, there was, I think, rain here and some uh, winter getting sort of extended. So right. uh, the market did not grow as expected. Right, Mr. Jamdar. Pleasure uh, we talk. are growing also, pushing ourselves into smaller towns because a lot of growth is happening in, the, in those areas. Right. And uh, we sort of addressing those markets. All right, Mr. Jamdar, hope the next year proves to be much more better. Thanks a lot for joining in uh, and best of luck for the coming few quarters. Uh, that's the management of Blue Star talking about their quarterly performance. Uh, FY13 hopefully turns out to be better. The stock's down about 5 or percent. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndyTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.